day everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sir Marcy and for today's video, we're going to discuss trigonometry which is 4th quarter, module 1, and module 2. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you'll be updated with my latest videos. Alright, let's start now our lesson. First is, we're going to define what is trigonometry. Trigonometry is derived from the Greek word trigonon, which means three angles, and metron, which means measure. Trigonometry is the branch of mathematics which deals with triangles, particularly triangles in a plane where one angle of the triangle is 90 degrees. Triangles on a sphere are also studied in spherical trigonometry. Therefore, when we define trigonometry, trigonometry specifically deals with the relationship between the sides and the angles of triangles, that is, on the trigonometric functions and with calculations based on these functions. Alright, let's now trace the history of trigonometry. The origins of trigonometry can be traced to the civilization of ancient Egypt, Mesopotamia, and the Indus Valley more than 4,000 years ago. Some experts believe that trigonometry was originated to calculate sundials, a traditional exercise in the oldest books. The first recorded use of trigonometry came from the Hellenistic mathematician Hipparchus, circa 150 BC, who compiled a trigonometric table using the sign for solving triangles. Many ancient mathematicians like Aryabhata, Brahmagupta, Ibn Yunus, and Al Kashi made significant contributions in this field. Alright, let us now talk about right triangle. A triangle in which one angle is equal to 90 degrees is called right triangle. The side to the right angle is known as the hypotenuse. So given the figure on the right, we have here our right angle. And take note that opposite of our right angle is what we call the hypotenuse. And we denote the hypotenuse or the sides by using small letters. Okay, so the sides here are written in small letters, while the angles are written in capital letters. So, if we're going to get the hypotenuse here, that is side AB. Okay, so the hypotenuse we have here is side AB. While the two sides are called the legs, which are leg A and leg B. Take note, leg A and leg B here are side, we have here side AC, and also we have side BC. So, take note that triangles deals with right triangles. In our previous lesson, we also discussed about the Pythagorean theorem. In any right triangle, the area of the square whose side is the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the areas of the squares whose sides are the two legs. So in the figure, we have c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. It simply states that, um, according to Pythagoras, when you square the two legs, or when you add the square of the two legs, that is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Let us now talk about the trigonometric ratios. Right triangles are differentiated in shape by the ratios of their sides. This, this gives us the Sokatoa definition of the trigonometric function. Suppose given the angle A in a right triangle as shown below, the three sides may be labeled as the opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse with respect to angle A. So in our figure here, with respect to angle A, the the side opposite of our angle A here is what we call opposite side. And this one is called the adjacent side. So from here, we can now um, get six trigonometric ratios in respect or with respect to 
angle A. Okay? So, we have here the different ratios or the six trigonometric ratio. For sine A, we have opposite all over hypotenuse. Okay? So, this is O all over H. Okay? So, opposite all over hypotenuse. For cosine, we have adjacent all over hypotenuse. And that is A all over H. And for tangent, we have opposite side all over adjacent side. And that is O all over A. So from here, we can derive the Sokatoa. And to get the three remaining ratios, we're going to get the reciprocal. Okay? So Sokatoa. So the reciprocal of sine A is called cosecant A. And that is hypotenuse all over opposite side. And the opposite of cosine A is second A, and that is hypotenuse all over adjacent side. And lastly, the reciprocal of tangent A is called cotangent A, which is adjacent side all over opposite side. Alright, let us try to find first the six trigonometric ratios of the acute angle A. So first, if you're going to examine, we're looking, uh, there is a missing side. And let's say uh, this is side A. Remember, this is the, our hypotenuse, which is C. Then, opposite of our angle A is side A. So, I'm going to write here side A. And the opposite of angle B is side B. In our previous lesson, we discussed already how to solve for the missing side of a right triangle. So, we're going to use the formula A is equal to the square root of C squared minus B squared. So we have the square root of 13 squared minus 12 squared. And when we simplify this, we have 13 squared is 169 minus 12 squared, that is 144. So 169 minus 144 is equal to square root of 25. And 25 is a perfect square, that is why the value of A here is 5. Okay, from here, we can now get the 6 trigonometric ratios with respect to angle A. Remember, if this is our angle, the opposite side is side B. Okay? So, we now write Sokatoa for first 3 trigonometric ratio. We have sine A is equal to opposite all over hypotenuse. So, again, if this is our angle A, this will be our opposite side. This will be our adjacent side. And 13 is our hypotenuse. So, we have opposite over hypotenuse. That is 5 all over 13. Next, we have cosine A. That is adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent side is 12 and our hypotenuse is 13. For tangent A, we have... Um, opposite, that is 5 all over adjacent, and the answer is 12. Okay, so we have here the three trigonometric ratios, and we're going to get the remaining three by using the reciprocal of these three ratios. So the reciprocal of sine A is called cosecant A. So CSC is pronounced as cosecant A, and that is hypotenuse all over opposite. So, we just simply get the reciprocal of 5 all over 13, and the answer is 13 all over 5. The reciprocal of cosine A is called sec A, and this is pronounced as second A. That is hypotenuse all over adjacent, which is 13 all over 12. And the reciprocal of tangent A is called cot A, and this is pronounced as cotangent A. So, cotangent A is um, adjacent all over opposite side. So, the adjacent side is 12 all over opposite side, which is equal to 5. So, these are now the 6 trigonometric ratios of acute angle. Okay? So, let's have another example. Find the 6 trigonometric ratios of the acute angle B. So, this time, we're looking... Uh, our reference is here. 
So if this is our angle B, automatically the side opposite to it is 8 and this will be our opposite side. And this will be now our adjacent side. Okay? And take note that this is still our hypotenuse. So in this case, we're looking for the hypotenuse or we have here side C. And to solve for side C, that is simply C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. So our A is 6 and B is 8. Okay, so we have here square root of 6 squared plus we have 8 squared. 6 squared is 6 times 6, that is equal to 36 plus 64, then that's equal to square root of 100. So, our C is equal to square root of 100 or that is equal to 10. From here, we can now get the 6 trigonometric ratios of acute angle B. So, we have here sine B is equal to, we have opposite all over hypotenuse. And our opposite side is here, so that is 8. And take note that 8 all over 10, we can still reduce this to lowest term. And the answer is 4 all over 5. Next, for cosine B, we have adjacent all over hypotenuse. The adjacent side is 6 all over 10. So 6 all over 10, and that is equal to 3 all over 5. And for our tangent B, we have opposite all over adjacent we have opposite side is 8 all over adjacent side 6 so lowest term of 8 all over 6 is 4 all over 3 so these are now the three trigonometric ratios then we're going to get the reciprocal of this function so again the opposite of sine b or the, the reciprocal of sine b is cos second b which is equal to hypotenuse so, our answer is 5 over 4. Next, we have second B, which is the reciprocal of um, cosine. That is hypotenuse all over adjacent. And the answer is 5 all over 3. And lastly, we have cotangent B, which is the reciprocal of tangent B. That is adjacent all over opposite. And the answer is 3 over 3.